Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong.
you, Jolly? Boy, you really got yourself in a mess, didn't you? We gotta get your foot out of there before the redheads check their traps. Hold still, Jelly. It's a good thing I got here before the redheads did. You'd ended up a raccoon hat. Did you miss me, Jelly? Cut it out. Boy, Jolly, are you ever going to learn? Well now, isn't that a pretty sight? Boy, 
boy, Jelly. Those hunters are really gonna love you. Will you quit wiggling around? I gotta get you in the sack so I can cure you.
Israel thinks we got a shot at a blue ribbon in the roping event Saturday. I hope so. Maybe we get a race. Who's going to ride the stallion? Hey, <laughs> I'd give a week's pay to get a crack at him. <laughs> Not a chance. Randy's wired in for that event. Kid doesn't have enough experience. <laughs> he blew the bulldog and up to the junction last night. arena one of the most magnificently bred quarter horses in the history of this country. Okay, Dad, pull a chute. Through this specimen animal throbs an absolutely pure bloodline, dating back to the history of the horses of the early Spaniards. <laughs> Dad, pull a chute. Rux, your inventions are great, but do you have to present each one of them like they were the introduction to the electric light? <laughs> Even Edison wouldn't. There'd be no wisecracks or intimidating of the judges. Now may we start the bidding for this magnificent beast at $10,000. Dad, will you please pull the cord? Lovers of horses, may I present poetry in four-legged motion. Bold lightning! Yahoo! you got there, son? It's Shelly, Dad. He was caught in a trap on Pine Crest. Pine Crest? How the devil did you get up to Pine Crest? You little thief. You took my Honda again. I'm gonna teach you a lesson once and for all. Randy, leave him alone. But, Mom, he's gonna ruin my bike. He's a mechanical idiot. It's he who's been bending the sights of my guns bringing the traps around here. Randy, that's enough. Next time, I'll break your neck if you take my bike again. Now, Eric, get rid of that raccoon. But, Dad, he's hurt. I've got to keep him. Eric's right, Rux. He won't be able to survive on his own. Linda, what the hell are we running around here? A quarter horse ranch or a zoo? 
Have you seen that animal hospital of his lately? It's like a disaster area. The fences are falling down. He never cleans it, you know. It's filth all over the ground. The help around here, they're spending half of their time looking for his animals when they get loose. I'm going to tell you something, Eric. And I'm going to tell you this for the last time. Either you clean up those cages and mend those fences so your animals can't get loose. Or we're going to put them all in trucks. And we're going to take them up to the mountains. We're going to turn them all loose, healthy or not. Now, is that clear? I'll do it. I'll fix them. I promise. Now, can I keep Joey? Just for a few days, Ruck. Till his leg gets better. You just remember what I said. Please. Please, Ruck. That kid's going to be some ranch hand. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I just wish you'd do as your father asked, though. Fix up that animal menagerie of yours. He's right, you know. It really is a dreadful mess. I will, Mom. Honest. Now can I take Jelly home? Okay? Okay. And Eric, I hope you realize your dad's serious. He'll make you turn them all loose. Just like he did your cougar. Let's go, Kino. Did you send me your red hats? Did I see any red hats? Wait till you hear this. <laughs> It's Jelly. He was caught in a trap again. He fell for that same old hanging bait gimmick. He'll never learn. Hey, Gary. Get that stallion off the walker. He's been on there over an hour. Okay, Jelly. You're back home. You'll be safe now. Rux? Rux, I wish you'd try to understand, Eric. He loves those animals so. Understand? What's there to understand? That boy doesn't care about anything, believe me, except those damned animals. Now listen, Linda. The next one of his animals that gets loose is going to be fair game. Well, now, will you look at that? It's his pet fox. I can't. Just you watch.
Jason? Better get back. Jason's acting kind of funny. Eric, look out. Get back, Eric. That cat's a killer. Rox, over here. It's Jason, Mike. He never hurt anyone. Eric, get back. That cat may have been a pet once, but he's a killer now. Okay. Gary, bring your rifle. Down by the training stable. Come on, let's get down there. Hurry. That cat's back. Get those coats out of the run. How you been, boy? You okay? Dad? I don't know. Better make sure. Get the Suzuki. Rux, you can't. That's Eric's cougar. Linda, there's no other way. That cougar's got to be killed. He's been a pet here too long. He doesn't know how to hunt for himself. Will you tell that to your son? Judd, get the dogs.
Given him to that circus like I asked you a few weeks ago. I'd rather Jason be dead than live like that. How far to the water, Dad? Too far. Let's go, son. We don't want to be caught up here after dark. We learned from our last science lesson that when particles of pollution consume the supply of oxygen, we, as human beings, lose the supply that we need for our bodies. Say, for instance, you, or any one of you, were air, and the particles of pollution were consuming your supply of oxygen. What would you do? Who can tell me? Oh, Miss Nelson! Susan? Oh! I'd be mad at the particles. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, when you're quite ready, would you please be seated? <laughs> All right, class, now settle down. Without oxygen, what would happen? Anyone? Miss Nelson! Miss Fred? Nelson. People wouldn't be able to breathe. Anyone else? Kino? Choke to death. <laughs> What about the rivers and the seas filled with chemicals and trash and sewage? Now that many of the world's lakes and rivers have been polluted, how can we show what's going to happen to the ocean? If the oceans are dead, what will happen to all the fish? My dad says the Atlantic's going to be a dead ocean. How can we show that in the play? Eric, may I please be excused? Yes, if it's necessary. <laughs> All right, now, class, let's think about what kind of costumes we're going to make. Does anyone have any suggestions? Susan? We can make them out of green paper. Yeah, we could have green, green paper and for the ocean. Why don't we do that, guys? Nature is being destroyed. Here, boy.
on, Sam. Come on. upon which later cold water was thrown to shatter them revealed evidence of primitive man. Randy, will you please continue? Revealed evidence of primitive, primitive men and operations of unknown ancient race. gas did he have? Not enough. Let's go. Eric's gone to the high country. Oh, but why? 
to look for Jason. Jason? But you said he was dead. Eric must think he's still alive. We've got to find him. We'll find him. I'm going with you. Mom, you can't go up there. Linda, you've got to be here in case Eric comes back. Randy, get Judd. Cut 200 feet of cable. And get the raft. And Linda. Yes? Get some blankets. And put some hot soup in the thermos. Come on, Randy. Move out.
back to the ranch anymore. Dad will kill you if you do. You just have to learn how to hunt for yourself. I'm sorry about the peanut butter. It's cold in here, Jason. I'll make us a fire. He ran out of gas, all right. Yeah. Just a minute, Jason. Look, I'll make the fire. Hope they didn't get too wet. Came after his cougar, all right. Highway went over rock. Judge, 
Well over here. Randy, get the spare and take the tire off. That's right. And pull off the rear wheel. And Judd, cut that tree. And trim it. Cut a tree and trim it? That's right. And hurry. I can't understand that brother of mine. He must be crazy. Risking his life for a cougar. Let's just hope he didn't have to give his life, son. Yeah. Let's hope we got here in time. Yeah. Get that rim off, Randy. We have to find that boy one way or another before it gets dark. Kink that cable. All set, Dad. Start her up. Okay, pull it tight. All right, Randy, hook up the raft. Okay, Judd. Take it away. soon find out. I think he made it up that cliff? I don't know. Eric! Eric! 
Let's go. What do you think, Dad? I don't know. Eric? Mike, we all ready? Load the inline, we're all set. Great. Hey, Gary. Have you seen Judd? I think he went out to check his traps. That figures. When he gets back, tell him to pick up that filly over at Murdoch's. Oh, <laughs> what's the odds this morning Eric's gonna get the bike? <laughs> I think it's about even money. Honey, I can feel it in my bones. Today, we're going to get some blue ribbons. <laughs> I'm sure we will. Rux, I wish you'd let Eric go to the show with us. No, not till he mends those cages. Anyway, why don't you stop kidding yourself? That boy doesn't want to go to this or any other horse show. But that's just it. If he doesn't go to the shows, he's never going to be a part of the ranch. Oh, Rux, I wish you'd treat him the same way you do Randy. Now, how the hell am I going to do that? That Randy's a real ranch hand. He's like my right arm. One day that boy will run this ranch. Eric, remember what I told you about those cages? I want those fences mended. You understand? I'll fix it, Dad. We'll see that you do. Dad, can I ride the stallion in the roping today? He's all yours, son. We're all loaded, Rux. Goodbye, love. What would you like me to bring you back from town outside of, um, hippopotamus or something like that? Would you believe a gorilla? Oh, you little nut. Goodbye. Come on, Linda, let's go. What do you think? No way. But there's a better way to get to Jason. How? The message Dad left for Judd. Judd? Eric, Eric, we're gonna really get in trouble if we don't fix those animal cages. We'll fix them. But we gotta help Jason. He'll die if we don't bring him some food. If any more animals get out, we better go live with Jason. Well, I go fix the cages. You go up to the house and get a sack of meat out of the freezer. In the house? Yeah, the key's under the mat. I'll meet you down the storeroom back at Judd's place.
plenty of meat? Yeah. It's me, Judd. Eric. Yeah, what do you want? I, I got a message for you. From Dad. All right, get it out. Will you open the door? I can hear you. What is it? Well, well, Dad wants you to take us to the high country. What? Take you where? To the high country. Well, who's us? Me and Kino. I'll get Gary to take you. He, he went to the horse show with the folks. He did, huh? Eric, come on. Eric, let's go. Take you to the high country. What in the hell for? We don't need any enemies, as long as we got him for a friend. I think Judd's right, Eric. Jason wouldn't still be in that cave. If he's still alive, he'd be out looking for food. Yeah, maybe you're right. Jason would have left that cave by now. I don't think he would have waited for me. Besides, he did act kind of funny. Do you think he's on his way back here, like Dad said? I don't know. He knows there's food around here. He could be out there anywhere. Yeah, I wish he wouldn't come back here. Dad will sure kill him next time. Let's go up to the sand dunes. We can spring some traps on the way. On foot? No, on Randy's Honda. On Randy's Honda? What you saw? It's up there, on the skip loader. Yeah, well, we'll just have to get it down. Let's go. What about the meat? Oh, yeah. This time you put the meat back. I'll get the rest. <laughs> Sleep. Good. Toss me the rope. <laughs> Pull it tight. Oh, boy, is Randy going to be mad? Are you ready? I guess so. Are you sure this is going to work? I hope so. Well, hang on. Here we go.
Okay, bye, Jelly. Now you gotta watch out for the traps. Not that way, not in the water. Run to the high country. Take care of yourself, Joey. I'll miss you. Let's go, Eric. That storm's moving in fast. Eric? Come on, let's go, Eric. of St. John the Divine. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees. I am woman. I am man. The beat of the drums is the throbbing rhythm of the abundant life forms all about us. But man does not listen to the beat of the drums. We are, we are all the people of the world who polluted this planet. trees are not replanted. We have taken our trash and our garbage and dumped it in our rivers and oceans. There was smoke and dust and made it so foul that we are choking. We, we the people, people chopped down all the trees to make room for more, more concrete, concrete cities. cities. Stop destroying our planet, the beat of the drums will stop and man will choke and die of his own waste. The yeah. end. You like the play, Dad? It's Pepper, Eric. Pepper? What's wrong with Pepper? Jason killed Pepper. Please don't, Dad. 
Todd? Eric, that cat's got to die. He'll keep coming back to the ranch. And he'll keep killing. But, Dad, Pepper's dead. It won't do any good to kill Jason. Dad, please don't. No!
Eric! Don't you understand? I didn't want to kill Jason. 